Hi there. In this screencast, we're going to make the form to put the data into the SQL database, um, Maria SQL that is, and uh, MariaDB. And I'll also create the PHP that gets the data from the form and puts it into the database, which is the kind of the lion's share of coding this application. Now, I'm going to do this a little bit qu more quickly than I did previously because, I'm again, I'm not going to teach you how to code this stuff. I'll show you exactly how this stuff works, and um, I'll give you a file that has all of the code in it via the discussion. So you can just copy and paste like I'm going to, and then you don't have to wait for me to uh, type as well. But I'll explain um, kind of the, um, the sticky bits of the code as I copy and paste. So I'm going to go, go over to my file manager and I'm going to choose upload files. Just takes a second. And I'm going to choose public underscore HTML. Again, we have to put all of the files that we want to share to the web in public underscore HTML. I'm going to create a new file. I'll call this one form.html. PHP will also work. If you want to use PHP in your form eventually, you don't need to. Um, with this example, we're just going to have HTML and then um, the action will be a PHP form. But if you want to add PHP to the document, you probably want to save this PHP. So I'll just leave that PHP there. And I'll create that. And I'll edit it. So I've just got a blank document here. I've just got all of my code in a file that I'll share with you via my website. Now this is um, pointing to, notice the action is PHP and MySQL.php, so we'll create that next. Um, I'm just going to say label for name. I'm just going to have two pieces of data just to keep this nice and simple. And name and input type text ID name and again that has to match the field in the database so we've got a field called name in the database um, actually in this case this doesn't have to match something later on has to match but it's I always make everything match so I don't have to think about what I called various stuff and I don't need my last name Again, we're just going to keep this a little more simple. And email, everything's good there. It's already called email. So this is the uh, form, it's very similar to what this form we saw uh, in the previous example, where we collected data from the user and we just had it displayed back to them in the next, um, the next document once we hit submit. Now, I'm going to save this. I'm going to close it. I'll create a new document, and this has to have the, exactly the same name that we used in the uh, action. So it's PHP and MySQL. That's not a one, it's a L. And I'll just double check that that's what I used PHP and MySQL. Yep, looks good. And I'll create it. And I'll edit it. And again, I've already got the code, so you don't have to uh, watch me type, and I'll point out the pertinent details. Uh, other, the other stuff that I don't point out, you can just read and try to make sense of it. Again, this isn't a programming course, but it's good to see how it's done. Um, so first of all, this is just going to be name here. Now, this is a PHP variable. Variable. All PHP variables start with that dollar sign. And I'm just going to change that to name. Because again, that's that's the actual database reference right there. And sorry, this is the actual um, name from the form. So that has to match the form, that part there. We don't have a last name, so we can just get rid of that one. And 
server name. Remember I said that we have to save all of that data when we set up our, email, or our database on triple zero web host. So I have all of that there. I'm just gonna blank out the password and I'll add it when I'm not recording. So I'm just gonna give myself one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just an indication that I need to add that later for myself. But uh, again, I don't wanna share the password with the internet, otherwise they might come into my uh, my free web host and mess up my database. I mean, what could happen really? But in real life, you wanna kind of practice security. So again, I'm just gonna grab that information. And again, I'll add the password right before um, I uh, close this thing again off of the screencast. So localhost is also already correct. Username, I called it user ID in my notes here. So I'll paste that. Uh, DB name is very similar to the username without the 777. Again, that's the name that was created by triple zero web host. And localhost is correct. I'll add the password later. Now, this here is how we connect. So notice it's, I created those variables. It's grabbing those variables and it's using this here, this PDO. That's basically what causes it to connect, this new PDO. So you can basically see that these this portion here is just getting this data here, right? So the only thing that's actually doing the work is that stuff. That's basically how we connect to a database. Now this stuff is um, basically just for error handling and reporting. And then getting the data, you'll recognize that from when we did the SQL, SQL uh, statements, right? So that's just, a, we're just creating a variable, insert into, and then there's the value that's still in this SQL, right? So then we just connect and execute, connect, and then execute SQL. And then um, it's grabbing the last ID from the database. And then closing the connection. So this should basically just work. Um, we, we won't be able to see the data yet. Uh, this will require another document to uh, query, but we'll be able to see that the data has been added. So let me just double check everything's good. Oh, we don't want first name, last name. We just want name. So I'm just gonna get rid of all of that. That was close. And we don't want any of that. We just want name. I believe we are good. Name, email, name, email. All right, so I'll quickly save that. And then uh, again, I'm just gonna pause um, the screencast, change my password to my actual password, save and close, and then open this up in a web browser. So those are the three things I'm just doing off camera real quick. All right, so I've uh, added the password, saved and closed. Now I'm just going to quickly zip over to my web host. Again, I had to jot down the freaking I, uh, URL because it's so long. I didn't choose the URL. It's created for us by triple zero web host. And I'm just going to go slash form.php is what I call it. There we go there. My name and my email. So I had a little error here, so I'll just double check. Oh, 
I specified the wrong database name here. So I just need to change the database name. Insert into, sorry, not database name, but table name, customers. All right. I'm just going to pause it, change my password back, and try that again. There we go. So, Mary, oops, Mary Moore, or something like that. Mary at email.com. Submit. Now we have seven records. Uh, in the last screencast, I'll show you how to display all of the entries from the database. Thanks so much for watching.